All right, guys, Fula coming to you with another video. Shout outs to the whole LDBC. If you like this video, please feel free to up like the video. And also, if you would like to, please subscribe to the page. You don't have to. It's always by choice, never by force. So in light of the whole Corona thing, you know, I thought I would try to do something different. I actually thought I would do a um, a breakdown, li lyric breakdown of a song that came out, I want to say it came out in 2000, or I mean 1998, let me make sure, uh, let me double check and see when it came out, because, oh, it came out in 1995, okay. This came out in 1995, mind you. I'm just going to give my thoughts like the lyric breakdown because I said I would do lyric lyric breakdowns. And I, I was thinking I might do some of Nip Hustle's records because he says a lot in his records, you know, that basically needs to be broken down. But I just want to do a song that um came out in 1995 by another artist I like named AZ and I've always been very high on AZ I've always believed that AZ had the more fluid style over Nas although Nas had the more lyrical style AZ had the more fluid lyrical style whereas Nas had the more complex lyrical style and I've always preferred AZ style. But I'm doing this breakdown because, I mean, it pretty much is cookie-cutted. It's cookie-cutted for what's what's happening right now. So let's go ahead and hear it. And I'll be pausing in between giving my commentary on this song. The name of the song is called We Can't Win. And it's from the Do or Die album that he released in 1995. So let's get to it. Yo, God, do the knowledge goes like this. This world is ruled and controlled by society that exists within societies that exist within societies, God. So that part gets to me because when you really look at how this world works, I mean, it pretty much is controlled by societies within societies. When you look at the whole Democratic Party, that's a whole society into itself. It, it has it has nothing to do with the general population of people. It really doesn't. The same thing with the Republicans. The same thing with these big old bankers. Those are societies within society. You know, you would think that, you know, these people have your best interests at hand, but really they have their own society's interests at hand. You know, name... Name the last time a um, a presidential candidate actually gave a shit about someone, about a general citizen in this country. Let's continue. You understand these secret societies are maneuvering within society to control society. That's why society is out of control. So that says a lot right there, because when you look at it, society is getting to a point where it's out of control and they're trying to control society. That's the thing with this whole coronavirus. This is population control. This is the this is. How should I say it? Fear mongering. At its finest. In order to subdue population even more than it's subdued already. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that the threat of this thing is not for real or is not legitimate. But I'm just saying that this didn't happen by chance. Honestly, I would be foolish to think that this whole thing happened by chance. But let's continue on. The last days we're facing, that's the case when the emancipation proclamation decays back to the plantation. So this guy, I think his name is Barsham, and as you hear, he's just spit 
spitting the knowledge, you know, historical knowledge of this country. Everybody knows about the Emancipation Proclamation and all of that, and they had nothing to do. That's the one thing about the whole slavery thing. When when from my research, when they freed the slaves, and you know, the Civil War itself was not over slavery. You know, the Civil War was over taxes or something like that. It had nothing to do with um, freedom, like slaves being free. And even after slaves were free, they still had to work for free. Okay? Let's continue. The government plotting a nuclear detonation, destroying vegetation, water, the new order, mixed the base and the... Okay, so in those few lines, when you really look at it, what is what does this country thrive on? Weapons. What did this country drop two bombs on in Japan? Nuclear weapons. What is this country bitching about when it comes to uh, North Korea? Nuclear weapons. What is this country bitching about when it comes to Iran? Nuclear weapons. Okay, because it wants to be the only one that has it, or it wants its allies to have them as well okay and as far as vegetation is concerned look at all the food i mean come on the, there's very few places where you, except for farmers market where you can get fresh produce you know all i mean pretty much i'm gonna tell you something from experience i grow i grow my own oranges okay and i grow my own lemons you taste the difference between a store-bought orange and you taste the difference between a regular orange that you grow. And you definitely taste the difference between a lemon that you grow based uh, versus a store-bought lemon. Let's continue on. I on the dollar symbolize illumination of society secretly overseeing population understand it the government plans to enslave the planet I'm trapped in the face thinking of ways can it and that's exactly how I feel about this whole shit from the curfews to me not even being able to go to the boxing gym no more because of this crap I can't even go in the morning when it's one by one with my coach. I can't even do that anymore. Because of this. That's exactly what's happening. Is I, I, I could be wrong though. I could be very very wrong. That this isn't the goal. And goal is a single world government. Okay. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. But I just am trying to put. The pieces to this damn puzzle. You know what I mean? I even tried to go to even ask an elder, like, what's going on? Like, maybe I need to go home to my village and sit down with an elder so he can tell me what the hell is going on. But let's continue. Yeah, I'm not saying there's... It, there's nothing wrong if you have a spiritual connection. But you have to just do something too. It's not enough just to, like, let's just say, sit at the mosque. Or just go to the church. They, there has to be some foot movement. There has to be taking steps, you know. And as long as the intentions are pure... I think that's when you get divine favor and God will see you through. And then the napping line, let's face it. I mean, let's let's look at let's just look at what what people watch on TV, okay? Let's look at, you know, just some of the music, a lot of the music that is being played. You you know, but let's continue. 
thousand miles across the border. Teaching my peoples in Asia the new world order. 25 to click bloodline. We toast off wine, snap clips and nines with minds more advanced than Einstein and Merman. Knock down walls like Berlin. To get out, we can't get in, we can't win. And ironically enough, the the wall talk from Trump has stopped, you know, about building the wall and things like that. But I really, I really thought that when he was building the wall, he was trying to keep people in more than anything else not keep people out you know that's what my initial thoughts were about the wall but anyhow um this song brings a lot of things to my mind you know but let's continue on So this guy, this next guy who raps, he sounds like AZ uh, in a, a little bit in a certain way. Perhaps maybe AZ ghost wrote, wrote the verse for him. I don't know. But he kind of does sound like AZ. But let's continue on. Proposition, I made a decision for competition. So them lifestyles that I'll be living with tribes I've been in. With the little brothers that's in it. So he said, with tribes I've been in, I relate to that line because, you know, I'm Fulani by tribe, but I'm also, um, what you would call it, uh, neighborhood by tribe, you know, from uh, being brought to the Crenshaw Slauson area, um, which you would call it to be exact, 54th in uh, Slauson to be exact. When he talks about knowing that her son's gonna die, I mean, when you really think about it, you know, shoot, we're not guaranteed anymore anything, especially the way cops like to gun us down, you know, so that that line kind of relates to that. From the crimes of New York Times Cause I'm one of the brothers who made it throughout the others The rotten apples trying to break loose from these shackles, no doubt And then when he says trying to break loose through these shackles That could be anything That could be mental slavery That could be um, physical slavery That can be, you know, economical sa slavery You know, there's so many layers to this song that I get, you know And I don't know if anybody else gets those layers from listening to it but I still bump this album. You know, this album was a 1995 album. I still listen to it, though. You know. I follow Ralph's guzzle and Hennessy mixed with style. In this ghetto, we can't get out, we can't win. We can't get out and we can't get in. We can't get out and we can't get in. We can't get out and we can't get in. We can't get out. Now, before I go to AZ's verse... I'm just going to tell you, I, I'm going to probably do the most commentary on this first because it relates to every single damn thing that is going on right now. Okay, I'm, I'm letting you know that this man, I don't know. Listen, man, AZ, he was a street nigga. He probably was into some street stuff before, you know, he got put on the rap game. You know, he doesn't really talk about it that much, but I'm pretty sure Cuz has seen some things. But when it comes to this rap, he has just a, uh, a style that, you know, I'm like, damn, this this nigga got a, a cold style, man. And plus, he got a style that make you think and that he dropped gems. But let's 
Let's go. Nothing to stop the nation. Elevation. Daily operation. Since man creation, we increase the population. Proper. Okay, and that's true because I mean when you see when you see the 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 world, how the world is going, the population has just constantly just increased, increased, increased. You know, especially in places like China, especially in places like Africa, the population just increases, 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 right? Let's continue. Education, got us tapping in information, preventing from getting locked on the top secret investigation. Now that line right there, you know, he says, got us tapping into information. And we are in the information age right now. And, um, you know, the line about secret investigation, I, I have found out firsthand that if you know too much that, you know, you, you may be a target, you may become a target, you know what I mean? But if you know enough, you can prevent yourself from becoming a target by knowing the law. And that's why he says that will keep us from getting locked in secret investigations. Because if you know the law, then chances are you have a better chance at making it out. But let's continue. Giuliani's part of Illuminati. A million miles in one body designed to decline society. Okay, that line right there pretty much hits because of this simple fact that these leaders... These leaders want you to think on one accord. They want you to think a certain way. They want you, for example, when Trump said the whole rhetoric about um, the immigrants causing crime, the immigrants doing this, the immigrants doing that, he wanted everybody to think that, okay? He wanted the, the whole population to think that way and then by it thinking that way it you know in response will do things that it has no business doing to to immigrants you know and definitely it would decline society it, it more morally it will moral decay it will for sure but let's continue one at least 1.2 billion deceased while the rest is left with the mark of the beast on a dome piece prepare the signs of the times now we're near that outbreak scare found in Zaire soon be here so see right there Cor coronavirus in a damn nutshell mind you this is 1995 okay they do want people deceased okay when he said that outbreak scare from Zaire will be near, will, will soon be here, you can easily replace that outbreak scare with the coronavirus. And this is, mind you, in 1995. And see, look at what we have right now. Okay? And it is for population control. Because I keep on saying this over and over and over again. The original target wasn't this country. The original target wasn't China. The original target was the United States' enemies, okay? One being Iran. And you don't hear about what's happening in Iran. And I said in a previous video that many of the Iranian officials who are in government have died from this virus, okay? Africa was the target. The reason being, they're trying to control the population. Okay? Bill Gates has Bill Gates has talked about this many of times and I don't know why his ass is so interested in Africa, but he has talked about population and being concerned with the population in Africa and being concerned with the, the, you know, the increase in population 
in Africa. You know, so far, most of the cases, I'm not saying all the cases, but most of the cases of the corona in Africa have happened to foreign nationals who have came there. Okay, you have Italians who have con contracted it. You have French who have contracted it. You have Germans who have contracted it there. You even have Spanish citizens who have contracted it there. Okay. Now, could they have brought it there? Possibly. You know. But, um, yeah. That's, that's pretty much what I really believe this thing is. It's population control. And what I mean by population control, I don't necessarily just mean they're trying to kill off the population. I mean that they're trying to get the population to think in a certain way and operate in a certain way. You know, that's also can be considered population control, right? Well, let's continue on. Tune your ears and be safe on a slave Cause in a matter of days I'ma eat you your brain waves and Okay, so right there I relate to this because I know and I and I've been knowing that we always have to tap into spiritual sources. Okay, we always have to tap into these these things the esoteric matters but you have to have of course your base training okay but we also we have to tap in and realize that this thing that's going on right now is spiritual it's beyond health it goes on to the spiritual well because these people are sinister and to get their ends they'll they don't care about the casualties that may be involved in getting their ends, you know. And so just understand this this is spiritual and we do have to tap into those who can give us some insight, some deep insight, you know. And those those may be in different time periods, you know. Those may be spiritual poles, like let's just say a a Ahmadu Bamba, let's just say a um, let's just say a spiritual sage, uh, Agnatan, Emotep, like the, we have to tap into that. You know, we in order for us to you know navigate through this. And come out of it better. We have to tap into those things. But also tap into people. Like AZ. And tap into people. Who left information behind. That we can apply and use. But let's continue. Is he the visualizer? Is wise as Elijah? Here to abasha. And bring out the villainous that's up inside you. And see that's the thing about that. You know. That if you tap into the real people. If you tap into the sincere people who generally um, care about your well-being, your welfare, they will bring out the um, the best thing you inside of you. They'll bring out the knowledge inside of you. You know what I mean? But let's go ahead and continue. Intoxication, my voice box box the nation, sweet affiliation, the dough would die situation. We can't win, we can't get out. That last part relates because he said what you just listened to is three minds that acted as one. 
as black people, we're not going to always agree on everything. As black people, we have different cultures. As black people, we have different traditions. As black people, we have different backgrounds. But we have the same issues worldwide. This is another issue that has come on us. And it's not a matter of always agreeing on one accord, but it's always about thinking on one accord or having the same objectives on one accord. But that's all I got, man. This song really spoke to me very much so because of what's going on right now. It's like AZ kind of just cookie cutted that thing. And you have to I, I, the in leave your thoughts in the comment section. But I'm about to ask questions. I want you guys to answer these questions to all my um, loyal subscribers. I want you to answer these questions for me if you have the answer to them, because I'm still looking for the answer myself. With this coronavirus, why haven't they, t they tell us to wash our hands. They tell us to do social distancing. They tell us to not meet in big groups and meet in big crowds and do things with more than 10 people. Why haven't they told us things in order to prevent and fortify our bodies in regards to the virus? Why not tell us about the things that need to be eaten? Why not tell us about the vitamins and things that we need in order to fortify ourselves and build our immune system from this thing? Why not do that? Another question I have. There's long store, there's long lines in supermarkets. There's even probably longer lines now to be tested for the virus. Why would they not tell people not to meet in these places because the chances are you're going to, by being in such a big crowd at the store, by being in, in a, like, a big line in trying to get tested, why wouldn't they tell people this is going to be risky? But they let them panic. You know? Another thing about the coronavirus that I would like y'all to tell me, why does it seem like Although regular people are getting affected, why does it seem like athletes are getting affected the most? Or those are the ones who are being shown on there. Because 30% of the Valencia soccer team in Spain, they got affected. Four people were infected on Brooklyn Nets. Kevin Durant, one of them. Why is that? What's going on? What's really going on? You know, and so this song basically it, it describes everything, you know, the whole shebang that we're in right now. This song pretty much 
breaks it down and we're actually and, and this was mind you made in 1995 this song came out that long ago but i don't know if az could see in the into the future or what i don't know what he was thinking on writing that verse on the last verse i don't know what he was thinking but whatever it was it was heavy to me and it just kind of hits what's going on right now now you know i don't want to be long-winded but that's pretty much all i got for now leave your thoughts and leave your comments i really would like to do a stream uh yard about this whole situation you know and if any of my followers are interested in that let me know so we can pick a date and time in order to do that you know because i still have many questions about this whole thing you know i really do and the just being poker faced to it all you have to it's very difficult though don't get it twisted it's very difficult because it affects so many damn um faces of life you know it's very hard not to have it i mean Literally, I'm telling you, I swear on Allah, Wallahi to Allah, the energy even in the air is different, okay? It doesn't feel right. This energy that I'm feeling, it doesn't sit right with me. You know, I know the energy was messed up in LA before, but it's even on a new high how messed up it is, man. For real, it just really doesn't sit right. The whole energy. It's like, it's its like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's almost like, shoot, I don't know what's the best word to explain it, but the energy is definitely not the same. The energy is weird as hell right now. And it's, I don't know, man. Because even without the virus, people are stress, stressing out. And stress is the worst thing to have because that affects your health as well. You know? But if you're having these things closed down and, you know, new cases coming about it and all kinds of these lockdowns and stuff like that, it's like you're not moving your freedom, man. You're not. But anyhow, man, let me stop. I don't want to be long-winded. But, man, talk to me in the comment section, man, for real. Really get at me. But Fuga signing out. Enjoy.